Paris, the world's capital of gastronomy. 125 Michelin starred restaurants. But if you want to have a bite to eat in a typical Parisian restaurant, it's in a brasserie, a bistro, a bouillon that you have to go. On Paris Top Tips, every month I take you to one of those places where you can enjoy the great classics of French cuisine for not too much money. This month, we embark on a culinary journey to the iconic Le Relais de l'Entrecôte, where exquisite flavors and charming service await. You've heard about it from friends, or maybe you've seen it on Instagram, or perhaps stumbled upon it on TikTok. Anyway, it's decided today you want to experience the legendary L'Entrecôte. But here's the twist. When you search L'Entrecôte on Google Maps, you're presented with six different restaurants. Yes, six. So, which one should you choose? Is it Le Relais de Venise L'Entrecôte? Is it L'Entrecôte de Paris? Or is it Le Relais de L'Entrecôte? Which, by the way, has not one, not two, but three different addresses in Paris. It's a culinary puzzle, n'est-ce pas? Well, fear not. Today I'm here to unravel the mystery and guide you to the L'Entrecôte experience you've been dreaming of. Not much queue for the moment, but that will soon change. The restaurant opens at 12 p.m. and I started queuing at 11.30 a.m. So, which is this restaurant that also offers a terrace? Without further ado, let me tell you which L'Entrecôte you should be heading to. This is Le Relais de L'Entrecôte on Rue Marbeuf. Did you know that its fascinating history in Paris began with Le Relais de Venise L'Entrecôte? This original gem is nestled near Port Maillot, right on the border of Paris. And here's where it gets interesting. Le Relais de l'Entrecôte on Rue Marbeuf was opened by none other than the daughter of the founder of Le Relais de Venise. They share the same unique Entrecôte recipe that has captured the hearts and taste buds of Parisians for years. Now you might be wondering about l'Entrecôte de Paris? Well, let me be honest, it's a copycat. And, in my humble opinion, it doesn't quite capture the magic of the original. Okay, it's time to get in now. Here's my table, close to the entrance, but isolated. The decoration of the restaurant is pleasant, warm, all in red and yellow tones. Same tones for the table. It's nice to sit outside too, if you like that. The only thing you ask for is what you will drink and how you want your meat cooked. Rare, medium, well done. The waitress will write that down on a paper napkin. A lot of the wines here come from the Chateau de Sors which belongs to the owner's family. But it's lunch. I'm eating alone, so I'll just have sparkling water. Anyway, here's the wine list. And the other beverages. Bread is the usual slices of baguette. And here is my starter, a small walnut salad. The bread is good, but they don't offer butter, even if you ask. Now here's the famous entrecote. An entrecote is normally a rib eye, but here it's actually sirloin. What makes this recipe so famous is the secret sauce. And indeed, the sauce is very good, but I also love the french fries, so crispy. Thank you.
The meat is perfectly cooked to my liking, very tender. And the fries, mmm, delicious. I'm almost done. It's so good, I definitely have more. Well, in fact, there's a refill for both meat and fries. Love it. Now it's time for a good dessert. There's only one main, but there are many desserts to choose from. By the way, as in any French restaurant, service is included. So, tip only if you feel like it. My dessert? Lemon sorbet with vodka. So, here's the bill. A little bit on the expensive side. Normally, this kind of meat would be closer to 20-25 euro. Okay, I'm full now. Time to get out. So now, if you want to taste the iconic dish, you know where to go.